Hi, my name is Jeremy and I'm your host of Tubby Wine TV where we try to answer your questions about wine right here on the internet. And today's question was sent in from Rosalie from the Upper West Side who asks, I'm just getting into wine, how do I start? And it's like, what the, I don't even know how to answer that question specifically, but, but I guess Rosalie is asking like how does she start to to get into wine and start understanding wine and learning about wine, and and uh, I would I would say the following: one is uh, Rosalie, and 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 we're going to talk about drinking wine. I think the thing that people do in terms of a disservice to themselves when they start drinking wine is they drink one wine. They they get they become a creature of habit, and they drink one wine consistently. Uh, and I'm talking not only like one varietal, like Chardonnay or Sauvignon Blanc or whatever, Cabernet. Uh, they they stick to the same wine, and and I would say that is that is a big mistake, Rosalie. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, the the world is your oyster, and and you should just force yourself every time you go to purchase wine, or to enjoy a glass of wine at a wine bar or at a restaurant. Or with friends or whatever, force yourself to to try different wines, and you don't have to spend a lot of money. In fact, just like here on this table, all of the wines on this table cost twenty dollars or less, uh, and twenty dollars is not a you know it's not a huge amount of money, but um, uh, it's you know you can get a lot of lot of wine at twenty dollars. So so Rosalie, what I would say is I would say you know. Force yourself to try different wines. Force yourself to ask questions. Read what you can, and and uh, don't get caught up into like um, trendy uh, uh, trendy wines that that are advertised and uh, promoted, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, follow your nose. Learn, and you'll learn what you're going to like very quickly. Um, but again, challenge yourself to try different wines, and and I guess I would also try to stay away from wines that require a little bit more understanding. So I would stay away from young Bordeaux, for example. I would stay away from some funky varietals that just might not be your speed. Um, even even Chenin Blanc, which has a sweet kind of side to it. A, 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 I, I, I might ask you to stay away from it. Focus on the main varietals, the Chardonnays, the Sauvignon Blancs, Riesling, even Viognier to a certain degree, Chenin Blanc also, but Cabernet, Merlot, Syrah, Tempranillo, great grapes that are made into good wine all over the world, and you don't have to spend an arm and a leg. So, so take your time. But spread your wings, and you will learn a significant amount of wine about wine in a very, very short fashion. I'm not sure that's the way I plan on answering that question, but uh, but yeah, explore, and you'll learn a lot. And thanks for sending that question, Rosalie, into Tell Me Wine TV.